Hello and welcome back in this second video about the DC3 system. In this video we will continue with the hydraulic system and today we are talking about the landing gear. But first, to help supporting my channel, please put a like on the video and if you want to know when I release my next video, subscribe to it. The landing gear is made of three different systems, hydraulic, mechanical and warning system. In this video we will learn only about the landing gear system. To know more about the hydraulic system of the DC3 and the turbo DC3, check the video in the link below. The hydraulic system provides pressure through the landing gear hydraulic valve. The valve has three positions. Neutral, where the hydraulic fluid is plugged into the system. Up position, where the hydraulic pressure from the system is sent to the up hydraulic line and down position where the hydraulic pressure is sent to the down line. When the pilot selects the gear handle to up position, the pressure is sent to two pistons, the actuating cylinder and the compensating cylinder. The actuating cylinder is the main piston used to lower and raise the gear. To raise the gear, the hydraulic fluid is sent to the lower part of the piston. Because the gear is heavy plus the weight of the airflow, the actuating cylinder needs help to get the gear up. And that is why we have the compensating cylinder. The compensating cylinder works the same way as the actuating cylinder. The only difference is the cylinder works only to get the gear up. On the opposite end of the compensating cylinder, instead of hydraulic fluid, holes let air to go in or out. When the gear valve is set to up or down, the opposite up or down line is automatically connected to the return line, sending the fluid pushed by the actuating and compensating cylinder back to the hydraulic tank, allowing the piston to move freely. To secure the gear down and prevent someone to select the gear up on the ground, the safety latch control handle the gear handle to place. But also a spade in the gear cell secures the gear down to prevent the gear to retract in case of an hydraulic failure. The safety latch control handle has three positions. Positive lock, fully raised, and spring lock. To select the gear up, the pilot will have first to fully extend the safety latch control handle. By doing so, two things happen. A cam who guards the landing gear handle will move out at the same time a spade in the gear cell will freeze the landing gear. When the gear is fully retracted, the pilot moves back the handle to neutral position. By doing so, the safety latch control handle will move to spring lock. Spring lock will lower the spade in the gear cell just enough for when the pilot selects the gear down to allow the gear to go back in place and be partially secured by the spade. When the gear is down with a green light, the pilot can now put the latch to positive lock. Now, if for some reason one of the pilots puts the latch on the positive lock before the gear was down, the gear will jam the spade in place, preventing the pilot to move the latch back to fully raised. And because the pilot cannot move the latch, he also cannot select the gear back up to fix the problem. The only solution at that point is to disconnect the cam connecting the gear handle to the safety latch. And at that point, the pilot will be able to select the gear up and fix the spade position by fully raising the latch. If you have a problem with the latch who do not own in a fully raised position, the problem will most likely come from the spring in the landing gear handle latch mechanism. If for some reason the spring is not connected anymore, you will have to hold the latch to fully raised and then select the gear handle gear up. Or the other solution is to put back the spring to place.
On the DC3 and the Turbo DC3, we have only two annunciator type light to indicate the state of the gear. The first green light indicates that both gears are down and secure. The second light gear up indicates the gear is either in transit, up or insecure. These two annunciator lights are connected by three contact switches, one in each gear cell and one by the landing gear handle. When all contact switches are activated, the green gear down annunciator light will illuminate and the gear up annunciator light will extinguish. To alert the pilot, the warning horn will go off in two different cases. But in both cases, the gear up annunciator light has to be illuminated. The warning horn will go off when one or both throttle is retarded close to idle, or when the flaps are extended over 38. The only warning horn can be cancelled is the situation where you have the gear unsafe and the power to idle. So let's review how to operate the gear. To get the gear up, first you put the latch to fully raised. Select the gear handle up. As soon as the handle moves up, the annunciator light will move from gear down to gear up. When the gear is up, the hydraulic pressure should indicate 0 PSI. Select the gear handle to neutral and the latch should move to spring lock position at the same time. To select the gear down, select the gear handle to down. And the pressure will raise as the gear takes place. Both the gear pressure and hydraulic system pressure should indicate the same. Select the gear handle to neutral and the green annunciator light should illuminate. And then select the latch to positive lock and you are ready for landing. Check my next video to learn more about the flap system. Don't forget to put a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.